What would you say to the people who uh, would argue that pickleball is not a real competitive sport? F*** them. <laughs>
probably the best in the sport, best two people in the sport. So, you know, you, everybody's got something to prove, and that's that's about about it. Well, what, would you say there's any hatred between the two of you? Oh, there's there's something. There's some there's some passion there. I wouldn't call it hatred per se. It's more of a mutual respect and a little bit of something else in there. Do you like to elaborate on? No. That? No, I wouldn't. Respect? I fucking hate the guy. I mean, he's just a <laughs> sh <laughs> mother. <laughs> just the <laughs> attitude. And he's gay, too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he watches me stretch. Oh, God. Before the games. So. Yeah, there's no respect there. Speaking of uh, before the games, I noticed you don't have much of a pregame ritual or you don't really stretch much. Uh, would you like to explain that? Do you, is it all mental? Like, what? How do you get prepared for a pickleball match? The only way anybody can, you just put on your shorts, you put on your shoes, you get in your little lunge, you stretch it out, and ready for the day. I mean, what does he do? I, I don't know. Oh, we'll see. I'm just we'll see. Man. We'll see. Well, coming into Championship Weekend here, the 2017 Pickleball Finals are this Saturday, and of course, it will be you versus Austin Tadman at the Pickleball Court here in Fargo. Uh, what would you say to any uh, fans who are looking forward to that matchup? Uh, what should they be expecting come Saturday? They should be expecting a really good game. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What would you say to any kids who are inspiring to be a pickleball player when they're older? Uh, any tips or any advice you could give those youngsters? Just don't do it. This is terrible. I literally just picked up a racket and played today because you offered me $50. So if they have a chance to do this, just don't. You can do a million other things in your life, but don't do this. Who are you playing for? Who is it? The, who is the one person that just, when you wake up in the morning, put on your pickleball shoes, go to the court, when you drive into the court, who are you thinking of? <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but uh, Uncle Dave. Uncle Dave. He's still alive, but <laughs> just... That's, that's nice. Yeah. Did he play pickleball? No. no. What would you say is the main factor that uh, sets apart pickleball from other racket sports like uh, tennis, racquetball? Well, I'd say uh, it's it's just a combination of so many things. You can hit it in the air. You hit it off the bounce. That's pretty much it. But. Uh, <laughs> Today was the marks of 16th straight matchup that you and Austin have faced off. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any other opponents that you'll be willing to uh, match up with. Why is this? There's nobody else worthy, to be honest, just to put it bluntly. Nobody else can handle me the way he handles me. <laughs> Comments? Um, I noticed you've been working on your backstroke. <laughs> Yeah, I took up swimming. <laughs> so, that was fun. Yeah, great, it was. Yeah, nice seeing you in the water again. <laughs> uh, so how is it? Uh, how long have you been playing pickleball? Oh gosh, um, to be honest, I didn't even know what pickleball was till about ten years ago. So about ten years. Um, so I was born in cornfield in south western Iowa so I didn't even know we didn't have pickleball courts in the cornfield but then when I was about 10 I moved up north to the city and found a pickleball court and I was like I asked my dad I was like what is that he said I don't know and so I looked it up later that day and it was a pickleball court and that's pretty much where it all started fantastic <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Um, what would you say is the main factor that just continues to drive you to play the sport today? Oh gosh, um, I'd say it's just the sport itself. It it just begs to be played. You 
know, it just grabs you by the body part, pulls you in, gives you a couple spins, throws you back out there, and pulls you back in, and then makes you play it. That's pretty much all I can say about that. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess only a couple more questions for you here, Mr. Travis. Uh, one of the last ones we have written down here is just, what is the best way to become a pickleball player? What, if you were to tell a little kid today who was looking forward to being a pickleball player, what would you tell him? Well, I'd say go out there, spend the $800 on the paddle and the shoes and the net and the court, and that's all it takes. You just gotta spend a lot of money and you got it. I guess you can practice too a little bit, but mostly the money. So are we done here? <laughs> what what made you make a documentary on pickleball of all things? Well, when I came up with the idea of pickleball the documentary, I think I was sitting at home watching uh, the twenty fifth Kentucky Derby on replay. And I was just thinking to myself, you know, what what does the documentary world need? And I thought of, you know, animals, uh, jail, uh, some other third thing. And I was like... <laughs> the 25th! <laughs> After making this documentary, what is your uh, impression on Pickleball? Well, I kind of had an open mind going into this. Uh, I knew it was going to be hard to make a documentary on the Pickleball. But coming away from it, I realized that these two guys, they have so much passion for the dang sport. You know, you look at them, you think they're doing something relevant with their lives, but no. They're just playing a stupid little pickleball game. But they take it so damn seriously. It's inspiring, you know, it almost makes you want to do something with your life. You know, instead of making documentaries for YouTube of a channel with like 40 subscribers. You know? Maybe I should do something with my damn life. Whoa. But yeah. <clears throat> I mean, that's all right. How you doing? Say that again. How, how you doing? Thank you. Well, Travis, I think that's all the questions we have for you today. Uh, just look in your spam folder for the check. <laughs> um, sometimes it doesn't come through, but you, and then you just send your social security card information, and then we'll it'll, it'll all process. And you, you might see an email saying you're like, "Oh, there's been some kind of scam," or you know, your your okay, bank just... account's being transferred. <laughs> but just ignore it because it's, it's just our process. So okay. equipment. Sounds good. Thank you. Yep. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, awesome. Let's do some more of your fillers. <laughs>